Now you may remember seeing some of these pictures in our newscasts earlier this month when nearly 40 dogs were abandoned at Sun Valley Regional Park. Well, crews are still working to figure out who left these dogs behind. Local groups have been hard at work getting them adopted. Now, a majority of those dogs went to the Nevada Humane Society, and as Chris Buckley shows us, every single one of them has already found a forever home. I don't know how people can do that. It's just so sad. It just makes me want to tear up and cry because I, 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 I would never get rid of him. Pooter is one of dozens of dogs abandoned in a Sun Valley Park. We think somebody dumped them. We think somebody had an extraordinary amount of dogs, probably a hoarding situation. Um, and we think that at some point they needed to divest of these dogs. And instead of calling our agency or the SPCA or the Humane Society or even posting them up for adoption on Facebook, um, they dumped them. Now all 37 dogs that ended up at the Nevada Humane Society have found new loving homes. Pooter fills a void left by a beloved companion that recently passed away. He's already fast friends with the Moreland's dog, Abby. Percy kind of, I think he directed it for her because just the last five days, uh, he'll do things that only Percy would have done. They sleep in the same bed together. I got one, him at the top of my head and her at the bottom of my feet. King size bed and I get that much room. <laughs> it's the dog and the husband got the rest. Making these kinds of matches is what the Humane Society does best. And the ones that come from really neglectful backgrounds and you just know that they've maybe never experienced a safe loving home and you get to give that to them for the first time is just the most amazing feeling. There are programs in place so this kind of situation never has to happen. We have a lot of community outreach programs specifically for this. We don't want to be punitive. We want to help, um, but we need to know that we're needed. We have contact information for regional animal services and the Humane Society on our 2 News website and app. Covering the story, Chris Buckley, 2 News.